Hey, welcome back to Upper Michigan today. We have uh, switched spots here. Well, we're in the same spot. We, we, I didn't move. Played a little switch musical people. chairs. That's right. We switched people. We have Marty and Andrea here to talk about our latest read with All Booked Up. And if you were following along, it was There, There. And um, it was, a, I'm just going to say, a very interesting read. I, it gave a lot of really uh, great, you know, historical context and felt like I learned a lot. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, different perspectives within yes, the story. Yeah, but I, I'm going to say, Marty, yes. a little, oh. a little <laughs> bit hard to keep it all straight. There were a lot of people, mm -hmm. a lot of people. Each chapter was focused on someone different, right. but then they all started to kind of tie in together. And then for me, it was like, wait a minute, who was Opal? Mm -hmm. Wait, wait what, what, which one was her? Yeah, <sighs> yeah. There's like um, almost. I think the book follows twelve characters and you get their backgrounds and um, histories and how they are identifying as an indigenous population or not identifying as an indigenous population. And um, Storytelling is such a part of all of their lives. Um, so it's, it's a really fascinating read. I mean, I thought it was really appropriate for Native American Heritage Month to uh, have a book like this um, to make people aware of um, parts of history that they might not be aware of. And I did appreciate the way that, you know, some of the characters really celebrated their heritage and then others, they still kind of celebrated it, but in just the fact of just being, right? Mm -hmm. And so there's that whole concept that throughout the book of mm -hmm. what makes someone who they are, right? Mm -hmm. And it doesn't have to necessarily be this big pomp and circumstance yeah. You know, it, yeah. it, it, you can just be, and that's okay. Yeah, absolutely. And, and the characters really are struggling with their identity and who they are. And, you know, they're, they struggle with their Indianness. You know, some of them feel really connected with their culture, and others feel very disconnected with their culture. Um, and I found that really fascinating to read. And it even went down to the words that we use, right? Mm -hmm. You know, saying just Native or Native American or Indian and really going through all the names and the words. And I, I just found that all to be very interesting. Yeah, I, I really, I mean, I can't recommend this book enough. It's so good. You learn so much about um, indigenous populations and indigenous viewpoint. And I know that Andrea, I mean, she, when she was reading it, she was like, what's going to happen to this character? I was like, I can't tell you. <laughs> and finally, I just kept on saying they all die. But they <laughs> don't. They don't. But How uh, morbid. <laughs> Marty and his spoiler. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hi. Oh, hey. Um, <laughs> so I really was um, awestruck by the limitations of history in this book. Mm -hmm. As you mentioned, Elizabeth, there was a lot I did not know. Yeah. And I was a little embarrassed by that you know what I'm an academic lady like I like to be self-aware and um, yeah my eyes were open I would also like to point out that this book is Chicago Public Libraries um, community read for the year oh so mm -hmm. I mean it's not only in our little Marquette area but it's also mm -hmm. in a large metropolitan area that individuals are picking up this book reading it and hopefully building compassion out of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I yeah. know I did. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and I think in, in the way that the stories are told with the different characters intertwining stories, I think that just is, I'm always looking for a metaphor in the way the <laughs> narratives are told. Okay. It, 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 I think it just goes to say that a, a lot of times when we're looking at the histories and the stories of marginalized peoples, we stereotype them and lump them into one story, one experience. But this book says that is not the case. Yeah, yeah everybody is so individual in this book. You know, like you said, you don't want, you want to get past the stereotypes. And if you read this book, you will get past the stereotypes that we are all sort of force-fed by, uh, by different uh, you know, entertainment things, yeah. 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 So for someone that didn't follow along and read this book this month, <laughs> and, but, but maybe they want to pick it up again, yes. give us a little synopsis and why you think they should read it. Um, well, it's basically it follows 12 characters. You get a lot of their history. And um, it's how they all intertwine at the end. It comes down to they all are at the same event. Something really terrible happens at that time. And it's how they deal with that. It's so fascinating, and I can't recommend this enough. All right. Well, thank you for another great book. All right. There, there. I, I made it through. But you mentioned, and I should say, I listened to it on audiobook. You listened to it and then went back and read it. Mm -hmm. And you said reading it is 
a little bit easier for this for this particular one. It is because you're trying to keep track of 12 characters, so listening to it, you can, you don't have that opportunity to go back and look and see which character is which. So I would recommend actually physically reading this book as opposed to listening to it. You might have to go back and get a physical Me copy too. and try again. I was on the audio book. Yeah, I think I, I missed audio, some audio some screen. pieces because there were moments where I would pick up on the storyline and be like, wait a minute, mm -hmm. why are we here? But I think I was spending so much time trying to remember who someone was, what their background yeah. was. So there's a little bit of advice for you if you haven't read it yet and you're thinking about picking it up. Now, we're going to take another break, but when we come back, we are going to unveil December's read, which I hear is a tearjerker. It will make you... I haven't read it yet, so I don't know. Oh, I thought you did. No, this no. one. All books make me cry. Oh, you, this, this one, one makes this you one cry. made you cry. Yeah. Oh, I, but you <laughs> will. I will say that you might cry at the end of this one okay. too. Okay. Okay. I love a good tear, teary end. Okay. <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs>